It's 1964, and a community college physics teacher suddenly claims that death isn't permanent, it's just unfinished science. His name is Robert Ettinger, and he believes the dead don't need funerals. They just need a little more time. His idea sounds completely insane. Freeze recently deceased humans until future medicine learns how to revive them. At first, people just laugh it off. They dismiss it as wild science fiction, written by a dreamer with a physics degree and a big imagination. But here's the twist. Ettinger isn't just a talker. He gets to work building massive, thermos-like steel tanks filled with liquid nitrogen. Inside, at a chilling minus 196 degrees Celsius, bodies are frozen, not buried. He doesn't call them corpses. He calls them patients. He sees them as time travelers, just waiting for the cure that will one day bring them back to life. When Ettinger's own mother passed away, she becomes one of the first to be cryopreserved. Later, both of his wives join her in frozen suspension. This isn't just a theory for him anymore. It's his family's future. Today, it's estimated that between 500 and 700 people worldwide are stored this way. And believe it or not, thousands more have already signed contracts to follow them when their time comes. The price tag for this futuristic service? It ranges anywhere from a relatively modest $28,000 for a basic preservation, all the way up to over $200,000 for premium whole body cryonics packages. In 2011, Robert Ettinger himself dies at 92 years old and become patient number 106. To date, not a single human has ever been successfully revived from cryonics. In fact, some of the earliest experiments ended in disaster. The bodies thawed, and the hopes of their families were completely devastated. Yet despite the failures and the uncertainty, the tanks continued to hum quietly in facilities across the world, holding on to frozen hope. So, what is this really? Is this the future of humanity? Or humanity's biggest mistake? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching Real WTF News.